Welcome and thank you for watching this short video presentation on battery element test technology brought to you by STS Instruments. Today's topic deals with the principal test method used to inspect battery elements during the manufacturing of lead acid batteries. A battery element tester is designed specifically to check battery element quality. It tests the dielectric strength of the plate separator and also detects short charges. Detecting manufacturing defects in battery cells early and before they are filled and charged minimizes costly reclamation. The positive and negative plate sets of a battery element are separated by a separator to prevent them from shorting. To test the dielectric strength or integrity of these separators, a high voltage test level is required. Because a battery element consists of two sets of parallel plates, they have the same electrical characteristic as a capacitor. Applying a high AC voltage to a capacitor load would result in a high AC current flow. This would cause plate heating, could result in deformation or other types of plate damage. Applying a DC voltage would prevent this, but would take excessive time as the unit under test charges and then requires discharge. To eliminate these problems, a dedicated battery element tester uses a short duration, low energy AC pulse instead. All SDS Instruments battery element testers use this AC pulse test principle, which has been shown as a proven test method. The relatively low energy applied minimizes any chance of damaging the plates or separator. To generate the required AC pulse output signal, a capacitor bank in the tester is charged to a user preset voltage level. The test voltage can be as low as 300 volts or as high as 3000 volts. A high voltage transformer is used to reach these voltage levels. Inside the battery element tester is an inductive load which is connected in parallel with the test probes and thus the battery element under test. Since the battery element is capacitive, as we discussed before, this creates an LC resonance circuit. When the stored energy is released into this resonance circuit, it creates a back EMF in the form of a series of decaying amplitude reflections which are captured by the tester's measurement circuit. The energy is stored in the internal capacitor banks released by triggering an SCR. This results in a high voltage surge in the test probes. This process is shown on the scope capture to the right. The reflected peak voltage is a measure of the cell's integrity and is measured to cal calculate a quality factor reading Q. A known good battery element or cell will have reflected peak value that falls into a narrow range. The tester compares the Q reading against this preset pass range and passes if the cell is in range. If it's out of range, either too high or too low, it rejects the cell and generates an alarm. The tester screen on the right shows a passing result. Since the battery elements are the most critical component of a battery, Ensuring their proper construction is of key importance. Latent separator defects can result in premature battery failure, shortening the life of the battery. Such faults cannot be detected with simple impedance measurements. However, any test measure used should also not result in any damage to good plate set. So care should be taken to use the proper test technique as we just covered. STS Instruments specializes in the design and manufacture of high voltage surge type battery element testers. For more information on this type of equipment, watch our introduction to the 1656 battery element tester video. Thank you for watching this video presentation. For more information on battery technology or battery element testers, please contact STS Instruments or visit our website at stsinstruments.com. You can also reach us by phone or email us as shown here.